All right, folks, coming back at you here again. Um, as you can see, we've picked up some nice uh, swim baits. I'm going to be putting those to the test here this season, doing some experimenting, trying to get some really nice largemouth strikes, or see what we can do here in our local riverways on getting some big smallies, uh, some nice smallie action. So, uh, again, this is what I picked up pretty cheap from our local Walmart, basically about a $5 package here. Uh, from but these power baits from Berkeley, uh, you can see we have the uh, the ripple shad, the swim shad, uh, the puggy shad, and then we got the rage uh, swimmers. Basically, I'm really looking forward to to using these puggy shad. The really mimic uh, nice looking uh, uh, perch or bluegill sun perch. Uh, and then the Swim Shad also has a very nice um, shine and, and neon color to them. I'm looking forward to using some of these in the big bass ponds. And then this Ripple Shad, I'm looking to go weedless and tossing it up into cover and see what we can pull out. But really, again, we're just doing some experimenting here on seeing what we could uh, want to just hook up, hook up on a really quality size fish here for you. Uh, so stay tuned with us. Go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button to the YouTube channel because we're going to be going hard at them here in the next few weeks. So stay tuned with us. All right, well, that's my first fishing trip of the year. Um, try out some of these swim baits I got here. See this one? And uh, I'm going to try it first, I think. Well, let's see what happens. This is first cast, folks. Uh, who knows? I have no idea. I've never been much of a swim bait. Guy, kind of guy, but... Kind of swimming sideways, not swimming right. Try her again. All right, well, we've gotten a lot of snow this last week, and so the river definitely looks up. I'm gonna try this one here. Get a little bit more weight on it. one's got some more weight on it than that other one did so the other one was kind of drifting downstream a little too fast let's see here and this one might be dragging the bottom so it's kind of Catch 22. This one's got a lot better action, though. A lot better action. Well, I definitely feel a bit rusty for sure. So, trying a fair amount of times with those three different baits. Um, nothing. So, I'm gonna make a move up here a little bit. Try her again. There we go. Feels like a good fish, too. All right, that's what we're talking about. What we're coming here for. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Barely had him hooked, too, but he slammed it. That uh, that uh, bait wasn't swimming right, and I turned it upside down. First cast, bam! So 
Thank you, Jesus. Let's see if I can get another one real quick. That drag was quiet. Something was happening there with my drag with it. He's fighting like crazy. Let's try that again here. All right, I'm still trying to figure this bait out, uh, but looks like my tail, if you try and go too slow, won't, don't paddle right. I don't have it on the right hook, because if I go too fast, it starts to spin, so still trying to figure out the sweet spot, but I did catch that, that nice little smallie there. There we go. There's one. Oh, he feels like a better one. There we go. Nice. There we go. Yes, baby. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Look at the size of this sucker. Look at the size of that guy. Wow, oh, man. Beautiful. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about right there. I'm going to take a picture with this guy. Nice. Yeah, buddy. Man, that was a... That was a little bit better of a smallmouth than, than what I had the first go around. I mean, he nailed it. My bait's swimming funny again. Yep. Well, I definitely have confidence in this bait now, but uh, I need to figure out a little bit better rigging combination uh, with hook and sinker. So I just kind of came out here on the on a whim tonight, and uh, so far so good. But we can do better, I think, because this it's not swimming right. It seems like the times where I threw it. Where it was, where it was right, I got nailed. So let's just do this. I can already see this bait. The eyes are gone. Everything else, maybe that'll be right. It's definitely. I think the I think I really like the color combination scheme of it, but it's not very uh, not very good quality. All right, like I said that one that one is kind of beat up a little bit. That's what we caught tonight's fish on the Ripple Shad five inch. Uh, Maybe we should put a jig head on it. I don't know. But uh, I got a couple jig heads I can try. But here's uh, the other bait I was throwing tonight. Um, and that's the Poggy Swim Shad. And I really like the color uh, of it. Four inches. And we got the Swim Shad. I'm looking to throw this a little bit more in like a pond. Or largemouth situation than river smallies. Um, 
we got these as well so definitely hopeful from tonight's trip I'm gonna try and hit one more little cove and then I'm gonna head to the house so stay tuned with us all right folks well uh, thanks for tuning in with us this evening uh, again this was my uh, first initial impressions of these cheap swim baits I got from Walmart um, just trying to get into the swim uh, swim bait game period uh, so definitely boost my confidence um, being able to catch them uh, on the style of uh, bait so you know definitely encourages me maybe to get a little bit more of a of an expensive swim bait I mean because they can get pretty high I mean they can run 16 to 20 bucks for a swim bait um, and you know it's hard to drop that kind of money when you're just trying to get into it so uh, again this was just my first initial impressions um, it was kind of slow evening but again I think it's just me refining and uh, fine-tuning uh, my setup I, I think I need to uh, you know do some different hook selection uh, my rod and reel choice probably needs an upgrade uh, but we're gonna we're gonna be doing some more of these uh, reviews I don't even know if you call them reviews or not but I'm just gonna try and experiment with some of these different swim baits a small mouth I'm wanting to hook up on a, a big big old large mouth this year and of course we're gonna be doing some uh, cat fishing as well I've been having fun doing that in the last few years so I'm gonna keep it up but definitely gonna be putting the the smallies on on the board because man they just fight like monster fish so anyway thanks again for tuning in if you haven't already go ahead hit the like and subscribe button to the ozark mountain outdoor adventures youtube channel and uh, hey we'll see you next time